Hello, my loves. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome in to this video for the new moon in Sagittarius 2022. For those of you who are new, hello and welcome in. We're going to be learning more about our own astrology, and then we're going to be utilizing the spiritual tools of the cards to learn more about how to tap in to that astrology based on what's currently happening in the sky. So I'll dive more into that in a moment, but if you want to learn how to get the most out of these readings, I do have a tutorial video for you that helps bring you up to speed with the intentions that I set and the little tips and tricks that I offer to you to get the most out of what it is that I share here. For those of you who are not new, hello and welcome back. It's so lovely to have you here. I'm really honored to be able to serve in this way, to be able to play with our astrological cycles and the cards to really help us to learn more about ourselves and to really make amazing leaps in our lives to the highest good of ourselves and the highest good of all. And if you want to support me, of course you can do that by engaging, liking, commenting, sharing, reaching out to me, letting me know what resonates, letting me know what questions you have. You can do that by donating. PayPal.me slash Devoted Vulnerable, link is in the description, or you can sign up for one of my services at devotedandvulnerable.com slash services, link is also in the description. So let's talk about new moon energy. New moons occur when the sun and the moon are in the same sign at the same degree point. So the new moon always happens in the same sign that the sun is in. The sun moves into the sign of Sagittarius on November 22nd, and the new moon happens on November 23rd. The new moon will happen in one degree, 38 minutes. And this lunar cycle, most lunar cycles last 28 days. This one will last from the 23rd of November until the 23rd of December. So when we're talking about this guidance and advice, for this lunar phase, we're going to be talking about this cycle period from November 23rd to December 23rd. So we're focusing on new energy and we're focusing on new energy under the umbrella of the Sagittarian energy and archetype. The Sagittarian energy is the archer, the centaur, aiming its bow and arrow at what it wants. It's always aiming at truth and then aiming at other things as well. So if you want to learn more about how Sagittarius influences you and your chart, I recommend checking out my solar readings that I did for the solar shift into the sign of Sagittarius. The sun is the spotlight of our galaxy. As it moved into the sign of Sagittarius, it's spotlighting this sign. And we look at our own astrology to get guidance and deepen our understanding of how this energy and archetype shows up in our lives. You can click on the playlist showing up right now. That'll take you to those videos. The link is also in the description here. So if you want to visit that video after you're done with this reading, you can go do that. For this reading, we're focusing on new beginnings within the Sagittarian energy and archetype. We're actually going to be focusing on a new joy. We're going to be asking the cards to guide us to a new joy, a new beginning, a new expansion when it comes to the joy within our hearts. Sagittarians are optimistic, they're idealistic, they love to learn, they love to adventure, and they are very joyous in their nature. So we're going to be focusing on the joyous new beginnings that this new moon is going to bring us. We are going to be going to my new deck, the Starseed Oracle, to get guidance on where this new beginning of joy is showing up in our lives. I'm really excited to share this new deck with you. I've had it for a few months here and this is the first time that I'm offering it in a public reading so I'm really excited to get into the wisdom and guidance and beauty of this deck with you guys. Now if you want to learn more about the astrology of this moment of the new moon I'm going to recommend Pam Gregory's video which will dive deeper into the astrological energies fully in play at the time of this new moon. It was a really great video that I watched and I do want to link that video here and reference it to you if you want to learn a little bit more about the astrology. For us, we're going to be watching for the house that one degree, 38 minutes of Sagittarius shows up in our chart. Now, if you have no idea what that means, do not worry. I have a tutorial video that'll take you through how to enter in your birth data and how to learn how to read a chart and find a degree point like this. The degree point of Sagittarius, one degree, 38 minutes, 
whatever house that's in for you. And again, that tutorial will show you where that is. That's the video that you watch. All of these introductions are the same. So if you're in the wrong video right now, no problem. Just go to the house that this shows up for you in your chart and I'll see you there. So this reading is for you. If one degree, 38 minutes of Sagittarius shows up in your 10th house. So if you're already familiar with the 10th house energy, you can scroll ahead to the card reading. The houses in the Zodiac story represent where things occur for us. The theme of each house is ruled by one of the Zodiac signs. The order of the Zodiac will also give you the house number. So if we start with Aries as house number one, we'll go through the Zodiac story, getting all the way to the 10th house, the 10th sign of the Zodiac being Capricorn. So basically it goes Aries, Gemini, no, it goes Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Sagittarius, then Capricorn, okay? This is how we're getting to the 10th energy. The 10th sign of the Zodiac is the Capricorn energy. So the theme of where the 10th house rules, what the 10th house rules, the location of our lives that the 10th house points to is under the theme of the Capricorn archetype which is all about ambition. So this is the house of ambition. This is where in your life this is focusing on career, reputation, society, power, and influence are all themes of the 10th house because it's influenced by this Capricorn energy. Saturn rules Capricorn. So Saturn is also the ruler of the 10th house. So I hope that was not too confusing. I know I said it a little confusing in there, but I'm trying to teach you more about the houses through understanding that it's really just another level of the Zodiac story, except instead of how something expresses, it's where something expresses, okay? So one degree, 38 minutes of Sagittarius is pinging your 10th house because that's where it shows up in your chart. So this new moon, the sun and the moon coming together in the same place in the sky is pointing you into a focus on your house of ambition, on your career, on your reputation, on the way that you influence those around you, on the way that you utilize your power and what you utilize your power and reputation to achieve. Let's find out what the Starseed Oracle wants to tell you about this area of your life for this moon phase. So if you haven't already called in your spiritual support team, taken a few deep breaths and opened your heart to receive the guidance that's most aligned for you at this time, I invite you to do that. Pause the video if you need more time. A new earth. It's happening, keep holding the vision. I love this for you, my 10th housers. Yes, yes, yes. Don't give up now. You are closer than you think. I know it's hard to hold the frequency of a new age when it feels like so much is crumbling and so many are losing faith. This is your sign that you're facing the right direction. You have a great gift in being able to see the potential of things before they exist. Tend to the new scenes, seeds. Dream them into existence. Don't lose faith now. Keep your focus fixed. Planting new seeds and bringing about a shift of the new age is no mean feat. It requires extreme trust and a radical vision. This is a reminder to you to have faith. You chose to be here, to be a part of this global shift. Whether you're bringing it about through prayer or meditation, or through working on a new project, job, or creation, keep going. It is happening. Don't give up now. The world needs more dreamers like you, more people with hope in their hearts. The road ahead may not be plain sailing. Ushering a new age in time of change never is. You're being encouraged to remember that when you, what you've been working towards so long is almost here. Don't question yourself now. Don't waver. Dig deeper into your devotion, for if you do, in the not-too-distant future, you'll be able to sit back and watch all that you've created, all that you've carefully planted and nurtured, grow and bloom. It is possible. Keep focusing on your dreams. You're closer than you think. Your journal prompt is how can you keep holding the vision? Wow, I love this. So the new joy that you're experiencing in the house of your ambition is a renewed faith 
that you are here to help us shift into a new earth, into a world where humans live in harmony and co-creative collaborative processes, that we are relieving the suffering of all of the innocent beings on this planet. And we are showing up for each other with open hearts and with a spirit of cooperation. And this is a vision that you are holding, that you are helping to build. You are ambitious when it comes to building this new earth, the new systems, the new way, and this new joy that this Sagittarius energy is pinging for you in your ambitious life is saying, keep this ambition going. Allow yourself to be renewed with the affirmation that yes, this dream is possible. Not only is it possible, it's almost here. Keep going, keep plugging along. The energy of the Capricorn is like one foot in front of the other, climbing an inclimbable mountain. Building the new earth is the inclimbable mountain, but somehow you are doing it. You are leading the way and we need you to keep going. We need you to keep believing. In fact, we need it to be a new joy within your heart to wake up each day with this vision in your head of what it is that this new earth feels like, looks like, sounds like, and what it is that you can do that day to make sure that you hold this vision and you take actions to creating it. What seeds do you need to plant? What projects do you need to create? What conversations do you need to have? What prayers and meditations are you called to do? This is what you're being focused. This is what you're being called to focus on for the new moon in Sagittarius. And I am so grateful for you. Thank you so much for doing this. We need more people with this hope in our, with this hope in their hearts, just like the card said. And I'm grateful for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for holding this vision. We're almost there, my friends. Let's keep going. Let me know if you have questions. Let me know how this resonates. And as always, namaste. The universal light within me salutes and honors the universal light within you. Namaste.